911, where's the address of your emergency? Yes, I'm at the Crown, uh, Crown Plaza at O'Hare Airport. And I was calling because my daughter came to this uh, to a party here last night, a gathering with her friends. And um, now her friends, they say that they left on the front of the hotel and she's not able to be found now. She's 19 years old. And you said that this and and you said the Crown Plaza at O'Hare Airport. Yes, yes. And they said that the, um, when her friends was asking uh, earlier today, like about four o'clock in the morning, because uh, they used to run the video cameras, they said that they didn't have no camera. But now I came and it was a lady. She said that it, she she heard music, and she she asked me that I want to go upstairs, and we went upstairs on the 11th floor, and it was someone came to the room. And the, she said that she did see my daughter there with a group of girls and, and, and a couple of guys. But um, that's all she just saw because she was trying, busy trying to get reception on her phone. All right, well then, um, you know what? Um, are you sure you don't mean the Crown Plaza in Rosemont? Yes, the Crown, yes it is. I'm sorry, the Crown Plaza in Rosemont. That's exactly where it's at. I'm okay, so sorry. And no, no, it's okay. And and have you spoke? And you said you spoke with the uh... front desk. I'm sitting outside, right in front of the hotel, in a parking lot right now. And they were saying that they didn't, that they haven't seen your daughter since she left, or no, this is a different set. This is a different um, uh, a new. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a new shift. And they said that they haven't seen it. Well, of course they wouldn't have seen it, because this is like three or four in the morning. And I just seen that they, she was here because I just found the ticket where where they entered this um, hotel. It was at um, 1.36 p.m. So hold on, this is not her ticket because this was on the 6th. My daughter wasn't here on the 6th. Okay, and uh, well, uh, you know what, real quick, I'm just going to see if maybe we, uh, I'm going to see if maybe she was here at all. Uh, what's your daughter's name? Her name is Kanika Jenkins. Right, and the, room spell her. the room wasn't registering her name. She came with some friends here. No, yeah, no, yeah. I just want to verify. I, I, I'm, I'm uh, about to say I actually just came in myself. Uh, probably been on trip for about 45 minutes, so I just want to make sure that, you know, maybe she didn't she didn't get arrested and sent on her. You know what I mean? I just want to double check everything. But okay, she, thank you. You're very welcome. But um, it doesn't look like we had any run-ins with her last night at all. Um. Do you think it's possible maybe she went to one of her friends' houses or, you know, she's probably... No, be, no, actually because she had my car. She was driving my car. She know I don't like nobody to drive my car because my insurance will not pay for nobody, no one besides her. And um, her friends kept calling my phone. I told them to stay out here. They stayed out here for... They called me like about three time in the morning. I was laying in the bed. I just had breast surgery. I, breast, you know, I was I fought by beat breast cancer, so I'm, you know, sedated off medication early, and they telling me she out here, so once I rejuvenated, to strengthen enough, myself enough to get up and drive out here to look for her. once they brought me my car, I came right out here, and I came to the hotel, and I showed them a picture of her, and I asked them if they see it, and it was a lady in the lobby, and she heard me asking at the front desk, and she said it was music, she did hear music, she called the one downstairs to report the room and come to find out was the people next door. And when we knocked on the door, um, that person said that she did see my daughter downstairs, which it was like four of them, and it was four of them. And she said my daughter, she um, she was with three of her friends, but her three friends said, which then, you know, these kids won't tell the truth. They said that she was, they went upstairs to get Everyone her cell phone. And when they went to get her cell phone, she was standing in the lobby, in the front lobby. And then when they came back down, she wasn't there anymore. No, I completely understand. Um, the, 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 one, the, the one issue we have, and it's not necessarily that it's, that it's an issue, but she is an adult. She is 19 years old. And, um, I mean, as of right now. she's 19 years old? That's my daughter. She's 19. Her name Kanika Jenkins, K E E E E K A. No, yes, yes, yes. No, I, I, I remember that. You told me that she was 19. But um, what I'm saying is that, is that she, again, she's only been gone for a couple hours. She's, 
you know, I don't know, maybe she's, you know, she could be somewhere with one of her friends or something because, I mean, it, again, it, it is only a couple hours since you hadn't seen her, correct, or since her friends supposedly hadn't seen her? Correct. Let's say about um, four, three to four hours now, they said. They told me. It was like four o'clock in the morning when they called me. Yeah. Uh I, well, I, I guess uh, the the one. I, are you looking to file a missing persons report then, or are you just? Or, 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 or would you? I'm sorry. Is it possible ahead. that? I'm so sorry, Sabra. Uh I just want to know: Is it possible that they, maybe they can look at the cameras? And see, um, it's because they send the police out here and ask them to look at the cameras and see if um, they've seen her on their cameras around that time. I was about to say, uh, even if I did send an officer, it would take a little bit in order in, uh, for us to get the uh, for us to get the camera footage and us for us to pass it on to the uh, detectives division. Okay. Okay. So, so what what would you suggest? Well. Again, again, the the only thing I would suggest maybe just um, you know give, give her a couple hours. You know she could have went. You know she could have went somewhere with one of her other friends. I mean, and who knows what her friends are saying is true. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's you. Is the day you could tell not to be saying. You could tell it don't sound right. I'm a parent. I've been young before, and it's not sounding right. It don't sound right. Period. That's why I came out here myself. Because they, they and then it sound like they had been drinking, you know, honestly. Yeah. And I asked them, did she drink? And they said she had only one cup, you know. But okay, my daughter ate the type that normally she can't even take liquor. Her, her liquor level is just like mine. We can't take liquor. We cannot yeah. take liquor. We take a sip of liquor, we drunk. Honestly. No, I completely understand. And I'm I'm like one cup is too much for her, you know. And why? And I and I like I asked them. And then they end up with her cell phone. I pay her cell phone bill every month to make sure my daughter has a phone. How did she love her phone? I don't understand. How? Why would she leave her cell phone with you all and just go disappear? And she yeah. know I just had surgery. You know, does she know? Uh, she know my predicament. No, yeah. Well then, well, well then. So that in, in that case, what I would, what I, uh, what I would recommend, just you know, go home, relax a little bit, give it some time. She could, she, of, all, of all we know, she very well could still be in the room. She, she could just be passed out. You know, again, you know how it is. You drink in the the night before, you get, you know what I mean, whatever else have you. So just give it a couple hours. You know, maybe see if you know, see if she'll get a hold of you again. You know, I mean, does she, uh, does she know your number? Yes, yeah, she know my number very well. She's very smart. Okay, well then, like I said, you know, just give her a couple hours. You know what I mean? You know, you know, give her some time. You know, again, maybe she, you know, maybe she went to one of her other friends' places, or maybe she is still in the room. You know, just knocked, you know, knocked out. You know what I mean? Yes, I thank you. Okay, and so when do you? How long does it take for me to file a missing person report? Well, well, you can you can file it at any at at, uh, at any time. It just uh like I said, you know, just you know, just give it a little bit of time, you know. If if you hadn't heard from her by I wanna say about ten, eleven o'clock, then by all means, you know, give us a call again. You can come to the station and uh we can help you out from there. Okay, I live in Chicago. Would it be better for me to come back to you all station or should I go in Chicago and make out a mission report? You know, I think you would uh you know, what, um, you know what, you can try to file. You can try to file it out in Chicago. They may tell you to come here since it happened in our town. But I do know that since she, I do know that since she lives with, uh, you know, obviously she lives with you in the city. I think this might actually fall on them, or at okay. least, they'll, or at least they'll be able to take the report and then they'll get in contact with us and we'll be able to help them out with the investigation from there. Okay, well, it doesn't It doesn't matter, whichever one. Um, if I have to come back out here, I'll come back out here. But but as long as if we be able to see, but we'll, if I come, okay, I give it to tomorrow. It's 24 hours. After 24 hours, do you think they yes, still be able to see the video camera of today, the surveillance cam camera yes. for today? Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. We'd definitely be able to pro Yes, we definitely be able to get the footage. Okay, thank you. Well, All right. I'll do that. Okay. Thank you okay. so much, okay? Okay. Oh, you're very welcome. Have a good day. You too. Thank you so much.
You're very welcome. Bye bye. Three oh one, everything ten four. Negative. I have that uh subject in the kitchen in a freezer. She is frozen solid. Ten four six hundred. 600 copies, make notifications, Rosemont, 601, you copy? Jerry, what kits are you in? I'm in the rear by the uh, dock area, by the garbage. 